Mexico City, 1971. A tournament of unprecedented scale. A Women's World Cup. Why didn't I know about this? Hidden for 50 years. We were never allowed to play football. These women were challenging so many norms. Tenemos la gran suerte de estar con Rachel Ramsey. ¿Qué tal estás? Muy bien, gracias. Vienes al Red Sea Film Festival para presentar Copa 71. Es una película que habla sobre las mujeres empoderadas en el 71 que hicieron un, un, un campeonato mundial que no estaba previsto. ¿La idea cómo, cómo te vino a la cabeza? Bueno, fue um, una idea de, mi, de la productora que estamos um, buscando historias um, deportivas sobre la, son, son mujeres. Había una, una entrevista en la, en la, la radio en Inglaterra um, sobre la reunión del equipo uh, inglés por la primera vez en 50 años. Fue un, un, um, un, en la radio BBC. Um, and she gave me a call. She said, have you heard of this story before? We've been researching extensively um, women's sporting stories. And neither of us had heard of it. And we looked online and there was absolutely nothing available. And this was three years ago. Now there is a huge amount about this online, which we are very, very excited about. Um, but it was at the time, there really was very, very little. Hablas de México en el 71. Eh, parece un país muy abierto a nivel de igualdad. Eh, ¿Consideras que México ahora está más o menos avanzado que en el 71? Ahora hay, um, hay una, una liga, una liga en femenil en, en México y como, como la, las mujeres en, en, en la película dicen, hay una... Um, las, los partidos son um, televisados um, en este momento, por eso Parece que hay, es mucho más avanzado, pero sab sabemos que en, en cada país todavía necesitamos continuar la lucha. Mm, yo no puedo um, hablar por, la, por las mexicana, mexicanas, soy inglesa, estoy paseada en Londres, um, pasé bastante tiempo ahí um, con las mujeres del, um, por, la, por la peli, um, pero de verdad Imagino que la situación en México es similar que en, en todos los países. Es que hay mucho, mucho, um, uh, muchas cosas de adelante, en, en, en la misma manera, uh -huh. muchas cosas en que necesitamos continuar. <laughs> It becomes a criminal offense for women to play football. Mamma mía. Women's soccer has changed dramatically. It was important to see that this was possible. ¿Por qué piensas que México fue el único país que pidió tener la Copa del Mundo en el 71 y no otro país? Um, fue porque en, um, en 70 había la, 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 la Copa Mundial um, por los hombres. En México, en, ¿verdad? En México. Sí, que ganó México. Brasil, ¿Mm? ganó Brasil, creo. Sí, fue la, la Copa de Pele. Um, y entonces había una, una infraestructura increíble en México que los um, uh, fue un, unos hombres um, antroponeales, antrop ¿cómo se dice? Eh, ¿Cómo? Eh, que querían ganar dinero. Es, eso, exacto. <risa> <risa> um, que eh, ellos Vieron una, una oportunidad económico, económica, una oportunidad comercial um, y porque no pensaba en la misma manera de, de FIFA o las federaciones en que las mujeres no, no deberían jugar. Estaban pensando afuera del la, la establecimiento del fútbol uh -huh. y por eso fue la... Um, no, no había, como les dice, la misma, las mismas um, uh, restric restrictions. restricciones. 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 Um, y, y fue por eso, simplemente. ¿Mm? Y fue la prueba, fue, para mí fue una, una prueba que hace más que 50 años ya la, um, uh, el fútbol femenino fue una cosa comercial. Y eso ahora es uno de los mitos que siempre la, la gente está diciendo, oh, no, no nadie quiere uh, pagar por, um, um, por los proyectos sí. y todo eso. No, no. 
Y eso fue una, una mentira, que fue, sí. Thank you for your effort you did in, in Spanish. So yeah. we are going to sí, keep sí, it in English. Yeah, sí, sí. And now you are here in the Red Sea International Film Festival 23. And how did you came here? How, how, what did you do to be here a part of doing a great movie? Um, well, I think um, uh, the programmer, Kalim, had um, heard about the film um, as we were making it and had always been interested in programming it if it, if it were possible. And I think you always feel when you're telling people about the film as you're making it, um, there's an idea that are you ever going to finish it? Is it actually going to happen? Because you can never guarantee that these things are really going to work out. And there was always a lot of support for, uh, for what we were trying to do. And yeah, I, mean, I think we were delighted to have an invitation. I think the, uh, the, the festival can see that the, the messages behind this film. They can see what a pivotal moment this country is at in terms of women's sports, women's rights, um, and inserting this narrative and the lessons that have been learned from the story behind this film into, um, into the current situation here, I think is very brave and very interesting. How do you think like, football can change uh, behaviors in countries? Uh, well, I think football is, a, um, is so ingrained in society at all levels that it's a really strong reflection of how a society is behaving and of what a society feels about every single person within that space. So mm -hmm. football is a, you, you hear often that football is a universal language, that, it's, uh, that it crosses all borders, that it crosses race and uh, it crosses class. We've never really had that conversation when it crossing gender before. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's that, that's that next level now, is to say, you know, if, um, if football is representative of the people, it needs to also represent the other 50%. And actually, what you said before, and just to finish, uh, it was quite complicated to know about uh, this World Cup, feminine World Cup in the 71, because there were not so many information. So I guess that was one of the most complicated things. But a part of that, um, what do you feel it was the most complicated thing to make this documentary? Um, the most a difficult thing, like with, like with any, any film, um, the difficult thing is getting it funded in the first place, is finding the people that are used to telling certain stories and are used to funding certain ways of telling stories to do something a bit different and to say, no, we want to do something on this scale, on a cinematic scale about the history of women's football from the 70s. People are just like, well, no one's going to want to watch that. Um, so you have to find the right people who believe in you. And we did that with our producers. You know, we worked with Dogworth and with Westbrook Studios, um, with, our, with, with New Black Films, a production company that we're with. And to have all of those people together, to get all the right people in the room at the right time, is, is, is the first difficult thing. And then you've got to, actually got to make the film. And then you've got to find all the archive. Then you've got to, I mean, the, this archive really hadn't been seen in 50 years. And was, um, we found it in people's attics. We found it underground, we found it in old vaults. Um, uh, yeah, having an amazing team of archive producers around the world really helped with that. So thank you very much, uh, Rachel Ramsey. Uh, we hope the best for your Copa 71 that speaks about Mexico. And well, thank you very much again for your time. I enjoy uh, the Red Sea International <laughs> Film Festival. Thank you very much.